Hi, I'm Ron from Hawaii. I'm here with Mari from Japan. Today we're going to be talking about food. So, Mari, what's your favorite cuisine? I think I like American food. What type of American food? I like hamburgers. Hamburgers? Is that your favorite dish as well? That is my favorite dish.、Um, my favorite hamburger place is right near where I went to university, and、um, they have this hamburger called the Danish burger. And the Danish burger has blue cheese inside the hamburger. So I love my favorite dish has to be the Danish burger. Do you like any side things like french fries with your hamburger? I love french fries, but I know that eating hamburger and french fries is a little bit unhealthy, so I always replace the, hamb- the, the french fries for a salad. A salad? Okay. What about desserts? What's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert has to be chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? Anything else? Do you like to eat it with anything? No. I like chocolate cake by itself.、Um, anything else? I like brownie sundaes, like brownies, and cho- brownies with、um, vanilla ice cream. I guess my favorite dessert is anything chocolatey. Sounds good. So, before you said you like to eat a salad, what type of salad, what type of vegetables do you like? I like all vegetables. I like them cooked or raw,、um, but I don't like raw onions. Not raw onions. I really can't eat onions raw. That's probably the only vegetable I can't eat raw. That's interesting. Thanks, Mari. Ron's favorite foods. Hi, I'm Mari. I'm here with my friend Ron. Today we're talking about food. So, Ron, what's your favorite cuisine? My favorite cuisine has to be Hawaiian food. I grew up eating Hawaiian food, so every special occasion we had Hawaiian food. So now when I eat Hawaiian food, it always brings back good memories.、Uh, what exactly is Hawaiian food? Traditional Hawaiian food is usually cooked under the ground in a hole with hot rocks, and it cooks for maybe six hours. Or seven hours, and when you take it out, it's very salty because we use a lot of salt and it tastes really good. Usually, meat, usually pork and other vegetables like taro and potato. So, then what's your favorite Hawaiian dish? My favorite Hawaiian dish is called lau lau. It's pork or fish wrapped in leaves and put inside the underground oven. And it's very salty and very good. So the flavor is just salt? The flavor is salt and the, also the leaf flavor that it's wrapped in.、Uh, what's your favorite dessert or junk food? My favorite dessert has to be cake and ice cream together. I love to eat cake and ice cream together. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry, and I, eat, and I like to eat that with chocolate cake. Mmm, sounds good.、Um, do you like vegetables? Not so much. I don't like to eat vegetables, but I can eat them if somebody cooks them for me. What's your favorite vegetable? Favorite vegetable. I don't have a favorite vegetable, but I can eat vegetables like asparagus, broccoli, carrots, those types of things. Do you eat your vegetables raw, like salad, or do you prefer them cooked? I prefer them cooked. Thanks, Ron. Welcome. It's good. It's good. Is that short? No, no, no. It's too long. Essential stuff. Right, Tom, tell me, what three things could you not live without? Well, I guess you saw me playing with my new toy just now. It's my iPod Touch, and it is fantastic. I often take long bus journeys at the weekend, and on this little electronic storage machine with a screen, I can watch a movie. 
and that just makes bus journeys fly by. It also has wireless internet, so I can carry it around, and in a coffee shop I can check my email, and it has the added function of being able to play music, although I don't listen to music much. That's one. My iPod Touch is with me all the time. It's kind of connected to my number two. Number two is the internet. I couldn't live without the internet. I'm online every day, um, reading newspapers, uh, checking out information about things I want to do and see that day, um, keeping in touch with family and friends, although I don't do that as much as they would like. The internet is such a huge part of my life. I can't imagine what it was like 10 or 15 years ago when nobody was online. Number three, I would suppose, I suppose is the sun, which sounds a bit facile because everything on the whole planet requires the sun. But for me, it's not so much about nutri you know, the nutrition that plants and animals derive from the sun. It's just being able to lie and relax in this soft warmth, tanning by the pool, letting my mind empty and clear. So those are my three. How about you? Well, I have to agree with your second one. Definitely the internet is one thing I couldn't live without either. For the same reasons you mentioned, really, just to stay in touch with people, um, for things like reading the news, checking my email, um, finding phone numbers, getting information. I really couldn't live without it. Um, the second thing would be my family. I couldn't live without them. Um, I think since I've moved away from Britain and I don't live close to them and I don't see them regularly anymore, um, I've grown to love them even more. Kind of, you don't realise what you've got until it's gone and that was true with my family. I really miss them all the time and I love going back to see them. Um, so they're my number two. Um, and my number three would be music. Um, music's a huge part of my life and I think I remember things by what I was listening to at the time, I'll remember periods of my life by what songs I was listening to or what album I'd bought. So um, for me, my memories are very much brought back to me by music. Um, so those are my three things, the internet, my family and music. Mexico City.